Hey Geeks, Tim Tibbetts here with MajorGeeks.com. Today we're going to show you how to disable the Windows Store on Windows 10. You need to have Windows 10, I believe, build 18.09 installed in order for this to work. So whether you have Home or Pro, both can use RegEdit. So we'll just do the Windows R plus the R key and type in RegEdit and click yes if you have user account control set up high. Now we're going to navigate down through here to H key local machine, software, expanding as we go with the arrows, policies, where's that? There it is, Microsoft, right there, and you're going to look for Windows Store. Now if you don't see the Windows Store key, go back and click on Microsoft right here, right click and select new key just like that and we're going to name it Windows Store there you go now we're gonna click on it again and we're going to right click choose new D word 32 bit value and we're going to name that remove Windows Store so remove Windows, whoops, put a space in there, don't do that. All one word, remove Windows Store. Now that that's done, we're going to modify it. It's going to be by default a zero. Now, as long as you know what is what, zero means that the store is disabled. So if you have that, you can leave it the way it is. If you change your mind, you can change this to a one at any point, and that'll restore it. Or we can come back up and we know we if you created the Windows Store key, I wouldn't do this unless you did. You can always come in here and we we know we, we came in here and created the Windows Store key, so right click on that and delete it. And that's the end of that. So you, with a reboot you should be back where you were. So that's how you should be able to do it for anybody on Windows 10 Home or Windows 10 Pro. So let's move forward here and we'll show you how to do it on Close uh, the registry edit editor and let's do again Windows R, Windows Run. And this time we're going to type in gpedit.msc. That's the group policy editor. Pretty simple to use. Now, what we're going to want to do with this is once again, we're going to navigate through. Let me widen this out so we can see what we're doing here. And we're going to navigate to user configuration, which is here. And then we're going to go to administrative templates. And then we're going to scroll again to Windows components and scroll down one more time to store. This is much faster for Windows 10 Pro users. As you can see over here on the right, you'll see the turn off the store application. It explains to you here what to do, how to deny or enable. But double click it by default, you will see not configured. So. If you want to disable the Windows Store, because you know it's Windows, you click Enabled. A lot of this stuff seems backwards in Group Policy Editor, you get used to it. Change your mind later, come back and click Disabled. Uh, of course, you can just click Apply when you're done, a reboot might be required. And again, if you change your mind, you want to switch back and forth, this is the fast way to do it. But if you use Enable to Disable, you can always come back later and click on not configure, which is how you started. Click apply, click OK. And that's the quicker way to do it if you do have Windows 10 Pro. So that's it. If you don't want to be bothered with a Windows Store, it's relatively simple. I'll throw a link down below into a story that has step by step so that you can copy and paste uh, the key names and, and, and follow it. So that if you don't want to keep pausing the videos, so you can follow it step by step. Uh, in the registry to go from key to key to get in there and make it a little quicker and easier for you. So as always, we thank you for watching. See you next time.